Beautiful. It's just a different atmosphere. It's yeah. not right, it's not wrong, it's not better, it's not worse. No. It's just different. What am I doing, Meg? Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Day 38. Yeah. Nice sleep in Port Marin. Yeah, nice um, accommodation. We'll link it below. Yeah, we'll link it below. below. And a nice dinner. Yeah. Uh, a little glass of wine. Yeah. It is currently Louis, what time in the morning? Oh, I think it might be quarter to eight. <laughs> and we're still not out. No, so we're just waiting for Henry to finish himself off and then we'll uh, we'll get moving. Um, I think we've missed the crowds this morning. Yes. Do you think, Louis? I think they might be in front of us now. Yeah. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe, we'll see what happens. Anyway, so we're going to start mushing along. We need to go and find ourselves a coffee mm. and um, something to eat and then we'll be on our way, on our journey. So a quick note before I forget, uh, we left Porto Marin this morning, as you know, about half seven I think it was, and uh, we thought, brilliant, all the crowds will be gone, uh, we could dive in, grab a coffee, piece of toast, however, there is very limited, we counted two cafes that are actually open. One cafe had the hugest queue and the second cafe wasn't taking anybody else in because he was working on his own that morning. So we've left and it's about 7k to the first town uh, where you can get yourself a coffee or a piece of toast. So a uh, bit of advice there for you. Make sure uh, you're aware of, uh, aware of that before you leave. I had um, three or four replies on Instagram saying that they are grain stores and they're lifted up to keep the grain dry and the mice off. So thank you everybody on Instagram. So as you can see, the rain has set in just for a little bit. It's just a little shower, isn't it, Lou? Just a little shower. <laughs> just a little shower. I did. <laughs> I did ask if it's wrong to like wearing a poncho. I love wearing a poncho. I would definitely say it's my happy place. <laughs> Is it your happy place? Uh, no, I don't like wearing a poncho. I'll be honest. It's like wearing a tent. Yeah. Love it, absolutely love it. I might wear it when I get home. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's a bit damp? I feel like my feet are a little bit damp. Oh no. Yeah, it's shit, it's a bit cold. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's a bit cold. Like letting in a bit of water. Yeah. Anyway, after a lovely lunch while the rain cloud went over, uh, we are now rejoining the crowds towards um, the next town. Can't remember where we're going. But it's a bit of blue sky over there. And that's where we're heading. Well, the sun's come out. Poncho's gonna come off in a minute. All right then, so, over lunch, Lou. We've been chatting about the last 100K. Yeah. What's your thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> so I think, I think it's a great walk for people. For people who wanna do a five day walk, I think the, the last 100K is brilliant, I think. Yeah, totally. If you've been walking for longer, 
from somewhere like St. John or from Pamplona, it's a real change of uh, dynamic. Dynamic, I guess. Yeah. We were saying at lunchtime, we kind of feel like we're done. Yeah. We also feel as well that we've met people genuinely at the first part of the walk. Yeah. And we've got to know people yeah. quite well. Yeah. Um, and the second part of the walk, as soon as you hit the Sari and the 100 kilometres. It gets a lot busier. It's harder to interact with people. I mean, you do, you, know, you do say hello, you do still meet people to chat. But it's different from that first bit yeah, where there's is. less people around and you talk for longer. Yeah. Just a different atmosphere. It's yes. not right, it's not wrong, it's not better, it's not worse. No. It's just different and I think yeah. if you come in in Cesario and you're doing the last five days, yeah. I think it's a brilliant walk, it's glorious, Amazing. beautiful, yeah. there's loads of people around you, you feel really safe, there's loads yeah. of services, yeah. loads of places to stay, loads of places to eat. Yeah. But I miss the first bit yeah. when um, there was a bit more of that community feel because you knew the people and you've seen them every day over a series of days. Yeah. So as a family, we feel that our journey was predominantly done yeah. in the first about 700 kilometres. And we've arrived. Plaza. Hello. Palace Plaza Rey. Yeah, that was quite hard. That was a hard walk. Yeah. And it was raining, you can see the ponchos back on. Anyway, we're here now and we've got something to tell you. But you're gonna to have to wait until we've had our Snickers and Mars bar. So we were chatting to the kids over lunch today um, and we made a decision that we're going to basically cut a long story short, we're going to jump forward a tiny little bit on our journey. So today's day 38 for us as you already know and the stage is supposed to be from Porto Marin into Palace de Rey. However, we want to get into Santiago on Monday the 27th. There's a few reasons for this. One is that it was our planned entry date. Another is that it's actually our wedding anniversary on Monday and we thought originally it'd be a lovely thing to do to walk into Santiago yeah. on our wedding anniversary oh. because that makes it all the more special for us. It's now difficult for us to get into Santiago on Monday the 27th without a little bit of jiggery pokery and so that's what we're going to do today. We're actually going to get a little taxi journey for 15 kilometres to take us to Malid. It's not ideal, we scratched our heads over it over lunch today of how to do it, what to do, but the basic fact is that Mark's foot can't do a couple of 35 kilometre days, there's just no chance without him not being able to walk into Santiago. No. And we all agreed the most important thing is that on Monday we can all walk the 20 kilometres into Santiago together. Day 38! Day 38! So close to the end, Santiago is in sniffing distance. Yes. We, we are can, so close. We can almost smell it, but not quite. Not quite. Okay, so we've just had some Cheerios. Churros. Cheerios. Pudding um, and pizza, which was amazing. So we'll put a link to the restaurant because it was really nice. Definitely. Uh, nice little town actually where we're in. So that's all yep. good. Um, and a nice little um, penchon as well that we're in tonight. Yep. yep. Um, and amazing staff. She really looked after us. So well yep. done to them. Okay, so what's happening, Lou? Today was a rough day. Today was a hard day, but yeah. we've already sort of told you about that. And um, our legs are aching and our feet are tired yeah. and we want to kind of bounce into Santiago on Monday, so we're going to take some care of ourselves now. Yeah. It's been a busy day as well. Um, it's been a busy day on the roads. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. so we're going to get ourselves to bed? Yep. Yeah. Ready for another? Yeah. A little bit up. slightly earlier start tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. And as normal, please subscribe just about here in this little round thing. Press that button and then press the subscribe button. It really does help us out. Um, we've got some exciting stuff coming up after uh, the Camino. Yeah, it doesn't end here. No, does it not end here? So <laughs> if you've watched our little clip about um, why we're doing this, um, I think you'll understand now that um, we've uh, released um, released everything to, uh, to fulfill our bucket list. So. Uh, there's more a lot more come. coming up. More to come, more to come. Anyway, we're off to bed because we need a rest and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.